Optimal aesthetics. The light transmission properties of traditional prefabricated or cast metallic post are different from those of the natural dentition. The incidental light is completely blocked by the metal post, which causes a characteristic shadow at the submarginal zone. The secondary optical properties of composite resin allow the optical properties of light passing through the natural tooth and the restorative material to reflect, refract, absorb, and transmit according to the optical densities of the hydroxyapatite crystals, the enamel rods, and the dentinal tubules, allowing an aesthetic harmony with the surrounding dentition. Resistance to catastrophic root failure. Root fracture is another reason for failure of the posting core system. The primary goal of restoring endodontically treated teeth is to develop a design which distributes occlusal stress uniformly while preserving the tooth structure if the restoration fails during occlusal stress or dental trauma. Traditional cast posts have a modulus as high as 10 times greater than that of natural dentin. This possible incompatibility can create stress concentrations in the less rigid root, resulting in post separation or failure. The fiber reinforced composite resin post has negligible root fracture. And studies indicate that dentin bonded resin post core restorations provided significantly less resistance to failure than cemented custom cast posting cores, and that the dentin bonded resin posting cores fractured in every instance before the roots fractured. Modulus of elasticity similar to root dentin. The elastic modulus defines the relative stiffness of the restorative material within the elastic range. The ideal restorative design for a post system requires the modulus of elasticity of the system to be similar to that of the dentin. As has previously been indicated, the traditional metal posts have a high modulus of elasticity, whereas the fiber reinforced post system has a modulus similar to that of a dentin. Flexural and tensile strength similar to root structure. Both the design and restorative material affect the resistance to fracture of endodontically treated teeth restored with post and core systems. An outstanding characteristic of a post system is to have biomechanical properties similar to those of the host dental tissue. A monoblock system with uninterrupted bonding at all interfaces. The fundamental principles of adhesive and restorative dentistry indicate that a restorative material properly bonded to the enamel and dentin substrate will reduce marginal contraction gaps, microleakage, marginal staining, and carries recurrence. It also improves retention, reinforces tooth structure, and dissipates and reduces functional stresses across the entire interface while improving the natural aesthetics and wear resistance. Whereas improper adhesive protocols can cause adhesive failure, resulting in micro gaps and debonding of the restoration. And unfortunately, many clinicians continue to utilize yesterday's procedures with today's restorative materials, and they wonder why they have micro leakage, recurrent decay, and sensitivity. Currently, an increased demand for clinically convenient posting core systems to replace lost tooth structure has provided the clinician with a plethora of simplified one-visit posting core restorative options. However, in view of the previous design considerations, it is understandable that clinicians have uncertainties about selection of restorative materials and techniques to achieve optimal results for posting core build-up procedures. Although the quest for the ideal material to restore a lost tooth structure continues to be a focus of modern dental research, there are many posting core techniques that are available to the clinician for a variety of clinical procedures, and each clinical situation should be evaluated on an individual basis. According to studies by clinical research associates, the fiber reinforced post systems are superior to metal prefabricated posts. In the last few years, there has been a major shift away from metal custom cast posting cores towards prefabricated metal post and resin-based composite cores. And recently, 
there is clearly an observable movement towards the use of fiber-reinforced resin-based composite post used with bonded resin-based composite buildups. Prefabricated composite post systems are replacing metal post systems because an adhesive procedure with the fiber-reinforced composite post system adds strength to the tooth restorative interface after bonding. Therefore, the fiber-reinforced post has an advantage after assembly. The fiber-reinforced composite post system has a similar modulus of elasticity to the dentin after bonding, whereas the metal post assembly has an appreciably higher modulus of elasticity. The advantages of these fiber-reinforced systems include they use surface irregularities to increase retention. Root fracture is negligible. There is no laboratory fee. It requires one appointment and light passes through it and therefore the final restorative result is more aesthetic. However, there are several challenges. It does require additional inventory and it is technique sensitive, but composite surface sealants are technique sensitive. But it also requires meticulous adhesive protocol. But there's one more thing you must have for long-term clinical success, the feral effect. Clinical studies have demonstrated and confirmed the importance of the tooth collar for mechanical resistance and retention form of the endodontically restored tooth complex. The general guidelines is a one to two millimeter preparation on sound tooth structure. In cases where there is insufficient sound tooth structure for this feral design, it is necessary to obtain this dimension through periodontal crown lengthening and or a forced tooth eruption procedure. As I've been making this video, I've also been finally restoring my house from the Galveston 2008 storm. I've been homeless. As I've watched the stone layers placing each individual stone in precise geometric positions by carefully cutting each stone into various sizes and shapes and cementing these precisely cut pieces into a solid, stable, and beautiful surface, I tell my stone masters that the final result is in their mind's eye. And this is what a good clinician should be, like a good stone master, improving his or her art form by becoming knowledgeable of all aspects of his or her profession, learning from the past, and utilizing the advances of technology. Possibly the ancient art form of stone laying was the basis for the techniques of application in restorative dentistry, or perhaps the similarity is only a coincidence. And now for a special surprise. I have created for you a live video using VOCO's Rebuild a Post System, a glass fiber post, and core build-up system. I hope you enjoy.